Hi everybody, this is Frida. It's September the 20th, 2014. This video was shared today on Facebook by Jessica Lamb, and I did reach out to her and ask her if it was okay if I shared her words with you. I can't stop now. I'm completely pumped up and just after watching that story again this morning, I'm trying, I try to sit here and think about, you know, what my ancestors went through in this country, what your ancestors went through in this country. You guys come from these people. We cannot give up. We cannot wait till 2016. We can't do it. We have to take our states back. You men are not weak. We have to do whatever it takes to restore the republic. Use your skills together. Every man, every woman, every person has skills that, that we can use to restore this republic. We can no longer argue with each other. We can no longer say, I'm stronger, I'm better. That's not how we're going to do this. We have to do this together. You know this in the military, that they try to make you as one, fighting, killing force. That is what the military is trained to do. You watch when they march. You watch how the Marines are all together as one. Their movements, the way they, they, they do, I can't find a word for it, but you can sit there and watch them and they are in unison. That is how we must be. We have to do this. We have to meet. We have to restore our states first. We cannot wait for this election. Do you see what's going on? People are getting arrested for wearing an American flag in America. People are getting arrested or suspended or treated horribly just for praying. And you think that we have two more years to sit around and wait? How bad do you think it will be then? I want this to be peaceful. And I want to do this in a legal way. But I cannot sit and watch my country die. There's nights that I can't sleep. There's days that I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop making videos about it. And then I see my friends arguing and fighting over who's going to be president or who's going to be written in. Do you really think that's going to help when all our counties and government, state governments are corrupt? What are we going to do for our children? I cannot stop. This is eating at me. I can't quit. I'm not crying right now because I am stressed. I am crying because I'm seeing my country die. And I know that if we don't work together in this, we're not going to make it. And everybody is worried about the war right now and ISIS. But our republic is vanishing before our eyes. How are we ever, you know, a house divided amongst itself will not stand. And our country is divided right now. We have enemies at the gates. We have enemies within. I just don't understand how anybody could say or feel in their heart, in their soul, and in their mind that freedom is a bad thing. This is America, the way she's supposed to be. 
from the founding should be something that every country wants. That freedom is the ultimate goal for all. We have these people who think that power is the goal for all. We talk about slavery. We hear it on the news. We hear about racism daily. Everybody wants to look at that as like there's only one race of people living under slavery when they don't realize that all of America is living under slavery right now. We all are. And the saddest thing is that if I knew then when I had my children that they would have to live like this when they get older, I don't know if I would have made a decision to help them. Because I do not want them to be living under this or their children to be living under tyranny. I don't want anyone's children. I don't care if they live in America or not. We have to change our way of thinking and viewing. We are told daily what to think. Maybe we should start talking about how we feel inside instead of talking about repeating what someone else says in the media. Every time I see a video of a man being intimidated to take down his American flag or a person being fired for praying or saying bless you or just doing what an American does, it breaks my heart. I know that it's not me personally, but it is. It is. We have to stand up now in every way we can. Not in 2016. We can't sit here and wait for some magical superhuman man to, to fix everything. Every man in America right now who loves our country and the Constitutional Republic, you are a superhero at this very moment. You are Captain America. It's time to rise.